one's ready for me. This way. Whoa. Ah. Okay. That's a big boy. So they'll really get you if you try and mess with them up here. There's one here. I feel for its backside so it doesn't pinch me. If I get it from the front, it'll give me a good hard pinch. This is a small guy, not too big, but edible, sweet meat. The smaller ones tend to be sweeter, so here it comes. Here's the cool cut. It's nice and dirty. It's Kuka Loa Loa. And how do you cook them? It's best to not put water in first and just make their meat nice and soft by cooking them in a pan just on the fire for a little while and then add water afterwards. The meat won't cling to the shell, to the outer exoskeleton. They'll slide off real nice. And you can cook them in lolo and um, put some curry sauce in it, basurwa. That's really good. It's good meat in the claws, the best meat in the claws and the legs. But there's also a nice area of muscle right here on, underneath it. Um, just when you eat it, make sure you beware of the, the mud canal. That eats mud. It was eating. <laughs> How many can we fit in here? Get in there. <laughs> it's, just... it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're always trying to get away, burrow themselves out. Some of the bigger ones, when you provoke them, they'll come out at you and, and try and confuse you and run into another hole. I've never seen a small one do that. And you think you know where both their claws are, but you don't. <laughs> Ow! But I find this is one of the most sexiest hobbies I do. <laughs> This one's a female. They have wider plates down here. Mm -hmm. See her eyes moving around? <laughs> She's pissed. <laughs> Should we see what they do on the land? When you get them in the hole, normally they're facing this way. And um, so you just, once you know where the claw is, then you reach around the back and scoop it all up. And that's when I'm making a lot of grunting noises. Because I have it cupped in my hand, I just have to wedge my arm back out the hole.